Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg, and I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the wisdom, the words to speak. Lord, and I pray they be your words, Lord, not my words. And I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. I am just and only the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I had a dream. I had a dream. Some time ago, I had a dream where I was standing on a precipice overlooking a huge dark gulf before me, and I could not see the bottom of this pit before me, but my toes, they were at the very edge of this abyss, this bottomless pit. But I was not afraid. A voice from behind me spoke, and as this vo voice spoke, it put its hand on my right shoulder, and it said, Your time here draweth nigh. As in soon, we are all going home. And I prayed, and I prayed on this dream, this message, that the Holy Spirit had spoken to me. You learn after a while that voice. You know when he speaks to you, you recognize, you recognize his voice. As for who the message was for, this message was for all of us, including me, as we are all standing at the edge of the abyss. But if you have Jesus in your heart, you have nothing to fear. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard a voice, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. Our time here draweth nigh. For Christians, this means that we all have very little time left to get your loved ones to the safety of Jesus Christ. You have precious little time left to work in the Lord, to bring in lost souls. If you have Jesus in your heart, you have everything that you need. And we will not live in fear. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. In these very last days, you need to carry your Bible, your King James Bible, everywhere you go, everywhere you can. And uh, as this is not the time to deny Jesus in, in any way. And you need to say the blessing over every meal that you eat. You need to be a part, separate, a peculiar people unto the Lord. People need to just look at you and know that you are somehow different from other people. You need to not be ashamed to be a Christian, but you need to hold up your faith as a flame and not hide it under a bushel. Mark 8, verse 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh to the glory of his Father with the holy angels. We all need to talk to our friends, our neighbors, co-workers, relatives, everyone about the saving grace of Jesus Christ and how he loves us, how he loved us so very much that he died for us. That Jesus paid our sin debt in his blood and with his very life. So now all they must do to, is to repent of sin, admit that they are a sinner and in need of a savior and believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God loves us all so very much. He sent his only begotten Son to this earth to redeem all of us from our sin and from hellfire and eternal damnation. These are the last days, and we need to work in the Lord while the, stu while the sun still shines to bring in the lost to the safety of Jesus Christ. You say you do not want to offend anyone or be a pest. How offended will your loved ones be in hell? And you do, you do not want them pointing a finger at you in that day, claiming that you never told them just how important Jesus really was. It's time to be a pest. It's time to offend, as your time to act is almost up. As we are standing on that precipice, the question is, are you going into the abyss, or are you, going, are you about to be raptured out of, the, out of the sinful world? God bless you and yours mightily. Every one of you have been a blessing, an absolute blessing from God to us in this ministry. And we thank God every day for sending you our way. Always, always remember that you are a precious child of the Most High Living God who loves you and who treasures you above all the gold of the earth and above all the stars of heaven. 
and we love and treasure you as well. We are going home soon. Praise God Almighty. Praise God Almighty. We are going home. We are going home. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we love you also very much. Every one of you have been an absolute blessing. And we keep all of you in our prayers. And we love you so very much. And we will see you very soon on those streets of gold. Walking on those streets of pure gold in paradise with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we will leave this sinful world far, far behind. Far behind. We will see you there on that day. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for making me a watchman and giving me a work to do and giving me dreams and visions, Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. <laughs>